Hey guys, it's Melbourne 7 here, and today I've got a 17k hybrid, uh, it costs that on the Xbox, I think on the PS3 it costs around 20k, so very cheap, very very good, I think it's about 3 leagues and I'm not sure how many nationalities, so I'll put the team in, I'll show you what I've paid for the players, and then I'll tell you how the team performed for me and show you highlights, I'm not going to go through stats or anything because it takes too long, anyway let's get straight into this, so in there we've got a Whedon fella, he cost me 1100 in defence, we've got Santana, Boateng, and Sacco. Um, I've kind of put them in the wrong place. Right, they're in the right place. Um, Boateng cost me 1,100. Santana, 950. So cheap. Uh, Sacco, 1,200. So the CDMs are Lucas Lieber and Luis Gustavo. Uh, Luis Gustavo cost me 1,000, Lucas Lever 850, so yeah, this team is honestly really, really cheap. Ben Arthur is our right mid, he cost me 1,700. Uh, center attacking mid is going to be Coutinho, uh, 1,600 for him, I remember at the start of FIFA, I think he was about 15, 20k. Um, left mid is going to be Osvaldo, uh, 2,900 for him, because I think he's an originally uh, left wing, so position modifier. And then our two strikers are going to be Sturridge and Pato. So Pato cost me 1,200 and Sturridge 5,900, so he's easily the most expensive player on the team. Right. Now, the team in general, I think, how many games have I played? I have played 10. So, yeah, I've played 10 games. Um, whoa. Jesus Christ. I thought Sturridge has scored more than that. What? How many? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's a glitch. I'm sure Sturridge has scored more. But anyway, right. Basically, this team is very, very strong. Um especially in defence. Attackively, I didn't score too many goals, but I, I think I scored around about 20, 25, which isn't a lot for 10 games, but, you know, it's averaging 2 to 3 goals a game. But anyway, the defence, honestly, it's built like a ship, brink, house, whatever the saying is. I'm not kidding you. I mean, come on. <laughs> Sacco, Boateng and Santana, great heading, great defence, great pace. They work really, really well. They don't even push up that much. And um, if they do, the two CDMs stay back. Lucas Lever and Gustavo. I was really surprised at Lucas Lever. I thought he'd just be there for chemistry, but he's not actually a bad player on this game if you haven't tried him. Uh, the wingers, Osvaldo and Ben Arfa. Oh, they work so well. Great at crossing, great at cutting inside, great at dribbling. Honestly, really, really good players. And Ben Arfa's got the five-star skill, so you know you can't go wrong with that. Coutinho reminds me of Oscar. I really, really do enjoy him. He's got the same kind of play style as Oscar. He's like tricky on the ball, great at dribbling, four star skill, four star weak foot. Then we have the strikers, Pato and Sturridge. Now, I enjoyed them, but I was a little bit disappointed because I've seen loads of videos on YouTube and people say these people, uh, these two strikers are overpowered. And um, when I originally used Sturridge, uh, in a different team, I really, really did enjoy him, and um, that was when he cost around 20k. But in this team, I don't know, he seems to be overshadowed. I don't know if it's because, like, the entire team's cheap, so I, I don't know, it's messing him up. But Pato, he's nowhere near as good as he was on FIFA 13. I mean, he's good, don't get me wrong, he, he's scored some good goals, and, you know, his dribbling is exquisite, brilliant, nice pace. But I don't know, they just never seem to get the opportunities. The wingers were always getting ahead of them, and yeah, Coutinho especially um, was stealing the limelight, really. I mean, he didn't score a lot, Coutinho, but I don't know, he, he just seemed to get the ball a lot more and utilise it more. So my uh, favourite three players have got to be, to be honest, ooh, I'm going to do top four, right? Coutinho's fourth. Osvaldo uh, third, Ben Arthur second, and Whedon Fellas number one. This guy, oh my god, he's so overpowered. How tall is he? Um, six foot two, so he's tall, but for a goalkeeper, he's not exceptionally tall. Like, Czech's six foot five, and players like, like goalkeepers are generally very tall, but 
honestly really really good and 1100 was it yeah honestly so good if you're building a Bundesliga or a German team or trying to hybridize try and fit him in he's so good he's like Marchetti and Sirigu overpowered and cheap anyway I'm gonna let the highlights roll I think there's only three or four games because I did play 10 but the recordings are a bit effed up so luckily the three I think it's three games I've got have something like eight to ten goals or something so you know it's still gonna be a decent length of highlights but anyway if you have enjoyed them please do hit that like button uh, if you want more squad builders as well hit the like button comment below and comment below any ideas next episode I'm gonna be building a Brazilian slash Argentina squad builder um because I'm not entirely sure who requested it but someone did request it and I'll say who that is when I build the squad so yeah if you got any ideas let me know in the comments and if I like the idea then I might build it Anyway, yeah, subscribe for daily 14 content, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the highlights. Peace.